G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Now in the Australian fishing market, when you think of soft plastics, you immediately think of brands such as Z-Man, Berkley, Squidgies, Savage Gear, maybe a handful of others. Well, that's all about to change as another heavy hitter enters that soft plastics fishing market. That's right, Daiwa are now manufacturing their own soft plastics in what they have labeled as Bait Junkie. The soft plastic market is a very competitive landscape with massive consumer demand. And when you enter a saturated market with well-established products, you need to have some key points of difference. Now, Daiwa are not reinventing the soft plastics product line. Many of the bait junkie plastics resemble product offerings already in the market. But if you stop and look at some of the finer details, you will notice a lot of welcome changes that may just sway anglers away from some of those existing brands that they're using. Competition drives product innovation, and that's really good news for consumers. So when big brands such as Daiwa, Berkeley, Z-Man, and others go head to head, it drives advancements in their product lines and capability of those products, whilst keeping the costs down and affordable, and that's welcome news for buyers out there like you and me. So why don't we do a deep dive into these bait junkie plastics and see exactly what they have to offer. Daiwa has spent the last few years designing this bait junkie concept, continually tweaking the models, the shapes, the colours, the scent and the swimming action and finally in 2020 they're ready to hit the market with a new range of six soft plastics including the 2.5 inch grub, the 4 inch grub, the 2.5 inch paddle tail minnow, the 3.2 inch paddle tail minnow, the 5 inch jerk shad and the 7 inch jerk shad all with Daiwa's Elastomax technology and Amino X scent. Now this Elastomax material is soft and stretchy, but it's surprisingly very durable. And Daiwa has designed this in the way that it's naturally buoyant, which means when you stop working these, that tail is going to just float on its own. And that's gonna work really, really well in calm conditions when you're working your soft plastic very slowly and in areas with high currents where that tail is just gonna sit up and flutter. Now they also make sure that they use non-toxic materials such as PVC, which is what you find in a lot of other soft plastic manufacturers product line. Now Amino X is a shrimp based fish attracting scent that these range of soft plastics are infused with. And I can tell you now when you open these soft plastics and you get these double clamshell plastic holders and you open it, you can really smell it. It's actually really pungent and strong. Now, Daiwa add that scent into these soft plastics in two ways. One is they actually add it into the material before they pour the molds. And then once the mold is done and set, they re-infuse that soft plastic. Now a bit like the Berkeley gobs, it is recommended that you keep them in the original packaging and particularly these double clamshell holders. That way they keep their shape and they don't dry up. So let's have a look at the individual range in a little bit more detail, starting with the 2.5 inch grub. Now the 2.5 inch grub is widely considered as the most popular soft plastic profile on the market. And that design has been around for many, many years. And you immediately think of things such as a Z-Man grub, which has had success for a really sustained period of time. Now that profile was originally designed really to target brim and was very, very successful, but it was also really successful at targeting a whole other range of fish species such as flathead, estuary perch, bass, redfin, trout, pinky snapper, 
and so on. So now obviously we have the 2.5 inch bait junkie grub. So how is this different from anything else onto the market? Now the Daiwa Bait Junkie 2.5 inch grub is made with Daiwa's Elastamax material. It's this soft and stretchy jelly-like substance. And just by holding it, you can feel how soft and how subtle it is. And that's what creates that really strong swimming action. Now, as we said earlier, this material is naturally buoyant. So particularly with a grub with that thin tail, if you're not working it, that tail is gonna naturally lift up and just flutter in the water current. And that will work particularly well in slow moving areas and in high current areas. Now, one of the key points of difference is the tails on these soft plastics are thinner than most other grubs on the market. And this is particularly what's gonna encourage some really sw strong swimming action. And this will work really, really well with lighter jig heads from 1 20th all the way through to 1 40th. Um, Daiwa has also designed these soft plastics in a way that the tail is on a parallel angle. And what that does, that puts more water pressure on the inside of the tail, which forces a high swimming action. Now the body of the soft plastic is bigger, longer and wider than most other soft plastics on the market. And the logic of that is that you can use it for a number of applications and number of different size jig heads. And if you find that that body is too big or too long, then you can just slightly cut that away a little bit. Now, as we said earlier, all the soft plastics are infused in the Amino X Shrimp Bane scent. Now these are available in 15 different colors, including some favorites such as Old Mate Motor Oil and some new ones that I think you'll find really, really interesting, both in UV and non-UV versions. Now the four inch grub is obviously the big brother of the 2.5 inch grub, but with some key differences. The tail design is quite different and that's done intentionally because it's meant to target bigger species such as your flatheads and your pinky snappers. The tail is thicker and wider and has a much higher prolific curl profile, which encourages really high swimming action. And you also notice on the back, it has an angled cutaway at the tip of the tail, which again is to increase swimming action. Now, small paddle tails have become one of my absolute favorite soft plastic profiles in recent years, and that's because they're dynamite on brim, estuary perch, bass, flathead, redfin, trout, and a whole range of other fish species. They're so simple, yet they're so effective, and you can work them without really doing a great deal. Now in this space, I automatically think of the Z-Man Slim Swims. And they came out quite a few years ago and they have been fantastic big hitter in that space. And they've had great success with these. So let's have a look at some of the key differences between the 2.5 inch paddle tail minnows from Daiwa. Now the Daiwa Bait Junkie 2.5 inch paddle tail minnow has a ribbed body, has slits halfway through the soft plastic, then into a really skinny waist profile and finish with a large boot tail, all of which is to encourage a really strong swimming action. Now you can just slow roll these and that tail is gonna flutter and do all the work for you, or you can hop them off the bottom with pauses and lifts and they are equally as effective. Now just like the 2.5 inch grub and the four inch grub, these are made using that Elastamax jelly-like technology, which means that they are super soft and will wriggle like a real life soft plastic. They're also infused in the amino accent, so they're gonna do their best to attract other fish. They're also buoyant, which means that that tail, when not worked, is going to naturally float to the surface. Now these come in 18 different colors, and I've taken a real liking to this chartreuse UV. And then we go from the 2.5 inch to the 3.2 inch paddle tail minnow. And these are gonna be a wonderful all-rounder. If you're fishing estuary species for things such as really big brim, estuary perch, flathead, or if you're fishing salt water for things such as pinky snapper and flathead, these are gonna be a terrific option, also available in 18 colors. And finally are the five inch and the seven inch jerk shads, which are available in 15 different colors and the swimming action on these soft plastics are really impressive. The key difference with these jerk shads compared with others on the market is that skinny waist design. And then there's that die cut in the middle, which is almost like two individual sections. And that really exaggerates the swimming action. 
The bottom section with the fork is angled upwards and the front section is angled downwards. And they've been designed intentionally in opposite ways to create friction and encourage a stronger swimming action. Now, without sounding like a broken record, these bait junkie jerk shads are also made in that Elastamax material, meaning that they're very soft and very stretchy, and they're gonna be ideal for a whole range of saltwater species, from snapper to mulloway to flathead to kingfish, and a lot more. Now, I really like these soft plastics, and at $11.99 per packet, they are a really affordable option. Now, no doubt, Daiwa enthusiasts are gonna be really excited about this new product range, but I think a lot of other people out there will be really curious to see how this range of soft plastics stacks up to others on the market already. And what Daiwa has done is taken a, an established product and refined it in their own way with smart colors, smart designs, smart sizes, and a really strong swimming action that will keep other competitors in the market on their toes. Now it's gonna be really interesting to see what the take up of these products are over the next couple of months. And if there is success, which I imagine that there will be, what product development we see in years to come with these soft plastics. Now a quick shout out to the guys at Trellies. It was really hard to source these soft plastics with COVID restrictions in Melbourne. And those guys have done a great job getting these out to me quickly. And in the comments, I have put some links below guys at where you can buy these range of soft plastics. Now, I hope that you've enjoyed this product review. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help greatly. And until next time, good fishing, everyone.